How's it going everybody? Hyperactive Hunter here again. Uh, today I'm making some shotgun shells on this episode of What's This? And uh, just using ground up deer meat that I had. And sometimes you might just get tired of the same old run of the mill stuff, spaghetti and tacos, hamburgers, whatever, you know, something different. So I use some, some ground meat, some ground deer meat in, in these and uh, turned out pretty good. And uh, stick with me, I have the recipe here to follow and maybe make your own. And, jazz it up however you want to all right guys so here you can see i'm starting off with one pound of ground deer meat um, one box of manicotti shells some breakfast sausage you can use whatever type you want and then one pound of bacon uh it's not necessarily thick sliced bacon i like the thinner sliced bacon on for this just because it, it seems to stick a lot better but you just take your empty manicotti shell and shove it down in your meat of your choice uh, this is the the deer meat here obviously and you want to go about a third of the way in if you want to do it the way I do it. I do have a suggestion that I'll tell you about in just a minute. Um, but anyhow, you, you put the deer meat where you want to go. And you reach over and grab a chunk of cheddar cheese and slide it in there. The shell will cut the cheese for you. You don't have to be precise and cut the, the block of cheese exact. You just put it, in, put it in a cube and throw it in there. And then you just tap the other end down and, and stuff it full with the breakfast sausage and that's basically your completed shell and then you just wrap it with your your bacon if you let your bacon come to room temperature or kind of take it out of the refrigerator a little bit before you start doing it um, it's it'll stretch and be easier to stick to the shell you don't have to use more than one slice of bacon and you should be more than enough to, to do what you need to do you don't have to tie it or anything it'll stick on there pretty good but that's basically the process and just repeat that 14 times and uh so my suggestion for what i was saying earlier next time i do this i'm going to do um, probably shredded cheese and then um, combine that with my meat whether it be the deer meat or just the sausage or whatever just combine everything together and just fill that whole tube up with the mixture instead of having it like this this way is fine you just sometimes you get a, a, a bite of nothing but cheese and shell which is okay but i'd rather have it kind of constituted all the way through um same texture consistency you know um but these turned out great um it doesn't take long um i do suggest you making them ahead of time up to 24 hours before time so if you want to have them for a game day um saturday make them friday evening and uh, have them in the refrigerator. That way the bacon and, and sauces kind of um, makes the shell a little bit softer. It's not necessary that, that I cook these within an hour of, of making them and they were, they were fine, but it does soften the shell up some. But just throw you some barbecue sauce on there and uh, get ready to put on the smoker. All right, got my smoker at 225. Uh, it's, it's come up to temperature and, and stabilized. Put these on and let them rock for about two and a half hours. Um, here we are, magic of time and editing. It's two and a half hours later. You can see I, I redid the barbecue sauce, put some more on there, and they're done. Uh, meats to temperature. And there's the final product, what it looks like on a plate. And I would show you what there was left, but there was nothing left. So, appreciate y'all tuning in, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Regular YouTube stuff. Y'all take care.